I'm uh, Colonel Koyin Chiu, uh, fighter pilot, qualified flying instructor, and I'm previously the commander of Air Force Training Command. I've been serving in the Republic of Singapore Air Force for almost 31 years now. I've always been very intrigued by aviation since childhood and uh, actually done a lot of aircraft modeling and flight simulator. In fact, I was also very fascinated by the aerial combat scenes in uh, movies like Top Gun, Star Wars. So much so that uh, I told myself as soon as I could, I would sign up for the Singapore Youth Flying Club. And I told myself that when I could sign up with the Air Force, I would do so. And that's where I am not right now. For one, the training is tougher. And because of that, I think the whole experience is so much more fulfilling. The eventual ability to overcome the tough training and the trust to give me a multi-million dollar aircraft to become a fighter pilot wearing the prestigious RSAF wing, as well as the opportunity to lead a flight of advanced fighters in large-scale exercises is extremely fulfilling and rewarding. My favourite and most memorable appointment have to be the commanding officer of 130 Squadron. Being based overseas in Perth, Australia, I was given a higher level of autonomy to lead and manage the detachment. And along with it comes a great responsibility for the people, their families, the training, the operation, infrastructure, the aircraft and the defence relation. So you can imagine the, the demands and the scale of work is quite diverse. And also because of that, it's much more fulfilling. And I think uh, being the commanding officer, I have direct influence over my people. And I am able to make a direct impact to, the, to their life, make a positive change. So I also find that rewarding. Um, the other addition, the other thing that I can uh, think of is uh, being a CEO of the Mutual Pilot Training Squadron. I frequently send trainees on their first solos and I get to witness their graduation. Uh, these are very powerful reminders of how we can make a difference to people's life. I flew quite a lot of aircraft, the SF-260, the S-211, A4SU Super Skyhawk, the F-16 and the PC-21. Uh, my favourite will have to be the F-16. It's actually a fast, nibble and very beautiful aircraft. And I have a lot of fond memories of doing it you know, together with my friends and colleagues. First and foremost, uh, work-life balance is important. Family is important. So I will have to make sure, especially as the commanding officer, to make sure that I can manage both and also show a good example to my people. So over there, when I was in Australia, for example, I did make it a point to try to end work by 5 to 6. You know, then have a chat with my people uh, in the mess and make sure I reach home on time and make sure I spend enough time with my family. And I think uh, having a family that's contented is very important for a job. I enjoy connecting with people, my staff as well as the trainees. In particular, I like to surprise the trainees in an informal casual setting. Uh, for example, in their bunk after working hours, uh, in their classroom as well, is uh, great crashing their cook house uh, lunch. And I, I realised that in such informal setting, the communication barrier actually lowers and after a while, you can start talking to them in many things, understanding um, their achievement, um, their day, as well as some of the challenges they face. I do find moments of amusement uh, when I like to walk around in PT Kit, um, where I saw trainees uh, trying to size up who this senior officer is, eventually for them to realize and suddenly end into a state of shock and stepping to attention. It's a very formal looking environment and I'm trying not to laugh too hard, but you know, um, it's quite amusing when you think about it. As I um, handed over my command recently and come to the end of my military service, um, I feel with uh, emotion. On one hand, um, I'm very proud of the fact that I have completed a full military service of 31 years from BMT to ORD and have completed successfully three back-to-back -back command tours. On the other hand, it's uh, very emotional and sad to hand over a place that I become so fondly attached to as well as to hang up my uniform that have become part of me for the past uh, three decades. Um, that said, I'm, I want to say that I'm very grateful to the RSF for the opportunity given to me and my family. And the uh, wonderful memories, the friendship and the experience I have in RSF will always be precious to me and will hold a special place in my heart. And the RSF will always be a part of who I am. To the trainee, uh, always remember that the rigor of your training is designed to shape you into a competent, well-rounded airman with character, resilience and determination. Because someday, our country may need the skill set and attitude that you develop in the Air Force Training Command. 
So please stay focused, work hard, and always remember the purpose that drives you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please follow the RSF social media for more.